Now we talk about cost. All right, cost. Pricing is based on a 911 cost per call. You will see it referred to as CPC, cost per call. 911 call data confirmed by AT&T. Total operating cost is 3.8 million. Assuming all seven jurisdictions participate, the CPC is $20.10. Budget, CPC, and cost allocations to participating agencies are subject to change if one or more jurisdictions decide not to participate. Remember the seven we talked about. 1.2 million is the cost to build a dispatch center paid by the city of Dearborn with grant funding covering, this is partial cost. Credit to jurisdictions for usable dispatch consoles. We'll talk about that in another slide as well. Mercy, flip the camera, good. She's getting good, isn't she? All right. 911 call cost per call. This is based on uh, fiscal year 2016 2017. That's a projection for us. Operating cost $18.44 to cover annual operating budget of $3.8 million. Benefit costs are a percent of wages or actual cost per employee. Equipment fund. You, this is where you're getting your total of $20.10, by the way. You'll see that as it adds up. $0.72. Cents and again, this is per call. This is for equipment repair and replacement, which produces approximately $149,000 annually for equipment repla replacement or repair. And 94 cents per call, this is risk equity fee for Dearborn assuming the operational risk and equity. Estimated total annual revenues from that is $119,000 $324, and that is your total for your $20.10 per call, your cost per call, your CPC. This is where it's broken down by community. So again, all seven communities are listed here, and I'm not going to read the whole chart, but I'm going to give you a minute to look at it, okay? Um, hopefully you had a chance to grab copies of the PowerPoint, so you can look at it. It's included in there as well. You will see the current dispatch budget for each community. Uh, we can take a look, Dearborn Heights is line three, $913,057. Our call volume, you'll see the second column, 911 call volume. We have calls for each of the seven communities listed here. Dearborn Heights, 33,301. And then you can see the total, when you drop down, there are totals on the bottom across the screen. 207,651, and these are 911 calls. Okay. New CPC, this is your new cost per call. So you can take a look and see what each community, this is what has been proposed through the uh, consent letter and the packet that was presented to each of these communities, by the way. They each received these packets. Not all of them have voted yet, or has been presented to their city councils yet. But um, you can see Dearborn Heights, their new CPC is coming in at $20.10. Pretty much most of the communities are in at $20.10, with the exception of Dearborn and Melvindale, they're coming in at $19.16. You have a new cost, budget-wise, and then you have the savings column. So Dearborn Heights projected savings through this proposal is $243,707. And then you see the percent. Cost guarantee. Unforeseen costs will be covered by the city of Dearborn and not passed along to participating jurisdictions. And in parentheses, that is because it is supported 
by the 3% risk equity fee that you saw in a previous slide. Annual cost increases to participating jurisdictions will be guaranteed not to exceed 5% for the life of the contract. Okay, so not to exceed 5%. Could be up to 5% is the way that reads. With a new contract, there will be recalculation of the 911 call volume for all participating jurisdictions and associated relocation cost. Changes in the staffing model may be made at this time as well. Nonetheless, participating jurisdictions should not expect extraordinary cost increases. The City of Dearborn is committed to providing high quality and efficient dispatch services. Participating jurisdictions will continue to benefit from this partnership. Now we talk a little bit about employment. As you may or may not know, we do have, uh, for our dispatch in Dearborn Heights, you can find this online at the city's budget, which is on the city's website, but uh, that is a staffing of 13 dispatchers. Okay, so let's talk about what is proposed currently. Dispatchers from closed centers will be eligible to apply for jobs at the Dearborn Consolidated Dispatch Center and will be considered before outside applicants. They will be required to meet all of the City of Dearborn's hiring standards. We anticipate that most of the interested and qualified dispatchers from closed facilities will be offered positions at the new Dearborn Consolidated Dispatch Center. Now, I just want to add a note here because it was in the previous screen that number was 38. 38 dispatchers would be hired. Well, keeping in mind they already have, and I looked at their budget, they have 20 yeah. on staff right now. So you're looking at eight, the hiring of 18 from the other communities that are coming in. That is the